Yeah, I'll address this. It's that day and that time. I was going through a, one of my prophets videos and um, somebody left a comment about um, how the church needs to stand up the usual. And then somebody else left a comment and replied and said, no, we had our chance. We blew it. So yeah, absolutely. Epic failure for the church, epic. To the point it cannot be utilized at all for anything I'm doing. That's partly why I'm here. I'm going to make America godly again. <clears throat> so I don't see, the church cannot play any role in that. So what I've done is taken that out of your hands and I've raised up my own army to do it my way. So yeah, epic failure on the church's part, epic. Now my bride has its own, um, and I'll, I'll delve deeper into that because I'm talking about your church. Individually, all of your churches in this country, epic failure, every single one of them. As far as the organization and the building, whatever you're planning, I appreciate it, it's not enough. I'm gonna have to put on my king crown for a second. And it will not be enough. <clears throat> so I'm taking that out of your hands. <clears throat> I'm not even upset about it anymore. I have my team in place. We know what we're doing. He then said to me, son of man, go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. You are not being sent to a people of obscure speech and difficult language, but to the house of Israel, not to many peoples of obscure speech and difficult language, whose words you cannot understand. Surely if I had sent you to them, they would have listened to you. But the house of Israel is not willing to listen to you because they are not willing to listen to me. For the whole house of Israel is hardened and obstinate, but I will make you as unyielding and hardened as they are. I will make, so I know what that means. I keep getting these um, prophetic words and the Holy Spirit says, that's the church. The church is trying to get a second chance. And the answer is no. Now my bride, it's because it's pointless and I'm not gonna give you my Holy Spirit to waste it. Now we will have one army, one king, and we are all moving as one. Whatever the church is doing, I'm gonna say it again. And I, that's your confirmation. The answer is no. I'm not involved in any church. I don't belong to any church. I'm not utilizing any church. Whatever you're doing is your own religion and for your own shareholders. What's pleasing to me is between you and me, me and you. It's not even about judgment and being saved from anything anymore. What you have, keep. A lot of you haven't heard my voice in a long time. A lot of you haven't felt my presence in a long time. You've been feeling that familiar spirit's presence and its orders. And I was praying about this and basically the same thing that happened to the Catholic church happened to the Christian church. It just, the enemy didn't go as far because the enemy doesn't have enough people willing to go that far. But basically, it's the same exact strategy. And I'm not fooled. Um, and I'm not going to get into a bad mood about it. It's just a separate religion to me. There is one way. Me. No one comes to the Father except through me. 
I don't want my people confused and I don't want them being taught <clears throat> doctrines that are not going to lead them to their happiness, truth, fulfillment. And I could go on and on and I have already, so I'm not going to. All right. I love you.